New at 6, it is a safe haven for children in crisis because of traumatic family situations. But now, Crisis Nursery is in trouble itself. As we find out from Patrice Walsh, they don't have the funds or the space to help all the children in need. This is my little pearl. <laughs> when Sarah Sincata suffered a medical emergency, the Crisis Nursery took in her two-and-a-half-year-old daughter, Pearl. So I was in a seizure state for 20 hours. And they were there, there was Faith saying, we're here to help you. Look at my purse. Pearl still goes there when her mother gets treatments for multiple sclerosis at the hospital. It's one less worry for the single mom. Everyone knows her and they look forward to seeing her. The nursery has already cared for more than 850 children this year. They need more space, more caregivers, and more money so they don't have to turn anyone away. Can you imagine telling a family, we can't help you, we're full? We don't want to get to that point. Right now, the nursery is caring for five children with a capacity for six to eight. But the need is growing, and they are outgrowing the small house on Genesee Park Boulevard. So it's, it's really a crisis. So the numbers have grown, the emergencies have grown. This is the only place of its kind in the state, and they rely mainly on donations to keep running. Parents like Sarah say they would be lost without this safe place for their children. Our children, our community's children, are in great care here. I can't even imagine the thousands of lives that they touch and help. In Rochester, Patrice Walsh, 13 Wham News. And the Center for Youth took over the crisis nursery two years ago. They are hoping the community responds with donations so they can keep helping children in crisis.